everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to overview part two for the summer glow up series, which is all about skincare. So on Friday, I uploaded my part one of my morning skincare routine consisting of the Jane Man Omna for fascia tension release and lymphatic fluid um, release as well um, using the Mysama Gel Balm Cleanser along with the Green Rebos Pressed Serum and Red LED Light Therapy followed by Adipo. So that's the first part of my morning skincare routine. And I just wanted to let you know, with Adipo, I am no longer using it twice a day, every day. I am now only using it once a day, fall right after my red LED light therapy, just exactly like how I applied it and showed you how I used it from that part one video. Now with Adipo, I use every single day, first thing in the morning. I love to leave it on my skin for anywhere from 10 minutes, sometimes two hours. Like this morning, I had it on for two hours <laughs> and I just love it. The longer I leave it on my skin, I notice that my skin just looks really, you know, juicy, plump and, and glowy. So. Adipo is working for me. I love it. Now, I'm going to continue on to using it once a day, and then eventually I will use it just twice a week as a mask to maintain my results. I'm seeing great changes in my skin, such as, you know, where, in areas where I was losing volume, which is right here underneath my eyes. It's starting to fill in. And then right here around my mouth and this area of my face. Now, I am putting it all the way down here and on my earlobes too. I have noticed it has plumped up my earlobes quite a bit. Now, I really love Adipo. I think it's a great product, and those of you who have you know, areas in your skin where you're noticing sunken in appearance or hollowness, or you're starting to notice some facial sagging like underneath your eyes, like right here in this area and in your jawline, I highly recommend that you give Adipo a shot. It's worth it. I know it seems pricey, but it definitely works. And I absolutely love it. And I recommend everyone try it. Even if you just wanna add some glow to your skin before an event, it's a really nice treatment mask to throw on and leave it on for like 10 plus minutes. It will just make your skin look really nice and juicy and plump and glowing. I just really, really love it. <laughs> so that is, the first part of my morning routine. I know it seems like a lot, um, but you know, I've been doing this morning routine now for the last two weeks and I just really love the results that I'm seeing in my skin. Now my new skincare routine is based around the Emma Pell system. Now, so Emma Pell is for those of us who are going through um, perimenopause, menopause and who are postmenopausal. Now what happens when you go through perimenopause or menopause is that the first thing that happens is you lose 30% of your collagen and then it's 2% a year after that. And what I've noticed with my skin in the last year, sorry I'm pulling out all my products, is that my skin is thinning, okay? And that's a sign of collagen loss. It's not just the volume loss that I was experiencing, but my skin was thinning. I was noticing it's starting to look sa saggier. I'm starting to get more fine lines and wrinkles, like especially like around in this area. And I was like, okay, well, I guess it's time we start MFL. And I mentioned this, I believe, um, last year, and at the beginning of the year that I was considering Emma Pell for my skin. And they do recommend that you start it, you know, starting at 45 and I'm like, okay, let's do this. I'm 46 now and I have to tell you, I've been using this full um, skincare line for the last two weeks and I already see a difference in my skin. It seems like this is definitely like the missing link 
that my skin needed. And <clears throat> I'm so happy with my results as of right now and the way my skin is looking that I'm ready to share this routine um, with you guys after I've perfected it. And the reason why it took me so long is because the Emma Pell uh, night cream has two forms of retinol. And my skin generally does not do well with retinol. I get very irritated, I get peely, itchy, and I always have these red dry patches on my skin. So I avoid it, and that's when I was using the Osmosis uh, Vitamin A Serums, which is retinaldehyde. My skin does better with retinaldehyde versus retinol, and I definitely can't use tretinoin or retin-A because my skin just cannot handle it. I do have hypersensitive skin, and there's a lot of us out there who can't use retinols and can't use um, you know, Retin-A or Tretinoin, and that's when we search for alternatives. And Retinaldehyde is such a great alternative because it's gentler on the skin. You have less irritation, if any. The thing is to microdose it into your skin. And with Osmosis Vitamin A Serums, they always like for you to start off at level one, which is calm, and then work your way up to renew. So you go level one, which is calm, and then once you're you know, good with that one, you can switch up to correct. And once your skin starts tolerating correct, you can be on correct for you know, a month or two months, or you could be on it for six months to a year, and you may never ever reach your way up to um, a renew. And then you could switch out with renew and try it. Well, I did work my way up to renew. Now, I love using my Osmosis skincare line but it wasn't enough. I just noticed in the last year, I was just seeing my skin become depleted. So I was like, okay, that's it. It's time to jump on Emma Pell. So I'm gonna share with you my daytime skincare routine first, and I'll go into my nighttime skincare routine, and then I'm gonna go over the devices that I'm going to be using during the summer glow up series. So first and foremost, after I finish part one, I go in and I cleanse my skin with the Neogenesis Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. It is amazing. <laughs> it is a gel cleanser, but it's a nice gel cleanser that doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't make it feel dry. I love it before microcurrent. I love that I'm not having all these different cleansers now. Um, to where I'm using like four different cleansers in one day to you know work around my devices. So I use this um, in the morning and then I use it at night as my first cleanse. I absolutely love it. It's a favorite, it's a staple. Next, after I cleanse my skin, I go in with the Neogenesis Booster. Now, as I was researching the Emma Pell skincare line, which there's not really any videos out there on it besides people who they sent the products to and who were paid to review it and then those who retail it. So Gina from Art of Skincare has some wonderful videos on how to get started with the Emma Pell uh, system. And I was studying her videos and I used her help from her videos, from her suggestions to build my Emma Pell skincare line. So in one of her videos, she recommended the Neogenesis Booster to help plump your skin. So the Neogenesis Booster is great to add additional hydration in the skin and protection. It still has that human condition media in it. It's not as strong as recovery, and it's not as strong as, um, I think it's stronger than skin serum, if I'm not mistaken. But what you can use this, you can use it on its own. You can use it to boost recovery, or you can use it to boost skin serum. So it's also great for those of us who have rosacea, hypersensitive skin, eczema. It's just Neogenesis serums are truly amazing. <laughs> so she recommended this for additional plumping and hydration because the Emma Pell night cream can be drying on the skin. And the other serum that she suggested with this line is the um, Hop House of PLLA. 
Cavaplay serum. So I can't use Cavaplay on a daily basis because it really irritates my skin and I get these little bumps all over. So it's not for me. So that's why I included Neogenesis Booster and I love it and I use it during the day. After Neogenesis Booster, I go in with the Emma Pell Serum. So the Emma Pell Serum, this has 2% vitamin C, 8% niacinamide, then it also has the MEP technology. So the MEP technology is a patented ingredient. I'm not gonna attempt to say it because I'm going to totally butcher it. But this technology, it's patented. And what it is, is it help, it works only in the skin. It does not go into your bloodstream. So it helps restore our skin to get back to building that collagen. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It helps with skin laxity and also dullness. So not only when you become estrogen deficient, starting when you're going into perimenopause, but your skin also becomes dull, dry, dehydrated, because we're losing those hormones, we're losing that estrogen, right? So if you're on um, hormone, hormone replacement therapy, you might not notice, notice this. And if you wanted to try the Emma Pell system, I don't see why you couldn't since it's not affecting uh, your bloodstream. It's not being, you know, it doesn't go into your bloodstream and it's non-hormonal. So you can definitely give it a shot. You might wanna try the serum first, but go ahead and read the ingredients of each product and see where you want to start implementing it in your skincare routine. So this also, if I didn't mention it, this also has superoxide dismutase and glutathione. So this will also help even out your skin tone. Um, and you know, some when they go into perimenopause or menopause, they start to experience melasma and their sun damage starts to come up and this will help brighten even your skin tone. So this, some do recommend that you use another vitamin C serum with it because it's only 2%. And for me, my skin doesn't tolerate vitamin C. And during the day, my main focus is all the antioxidants and the sun protection. So I went in with the Osmosis Replenish. So the Osmosis Replenish has some wonderful antioxidants. I think there's over 20 in here. There's chlorella, there's, um, I think there's glutathione in here, superoxide dismutase. There's a couple other, that, a couple others I can't remember. But this also has collagen stimulators. So this is my absolute favorite antioxidant serum. And for me, it works in place of a vitamin C. And I find that the antioxidants in this, you know, protect my skin better than vitamin C. And I haven't had any reactions to the Emma Pell serum, just so you know. And I want to tell you that as you can see, the Emma Pell products are pretty decently sized. This is 1.7 ounces. Now, if you're just going to apply this on your face, you just need one pump but I take it down to my neck and chest. So sometimes I have to use two pumps, sometimes it's only a half a pump, just depending on my skin and how it's absorbing the product. After the Emma Pell Serum, well, I usually go in with this after the um, Booster Serum, I use the Neogenesis Eye Serum. So this I apply 360 around my eyes, all the way up to my lash line and on my eyelids. Now, I implemented this because it helps with the skin texture. It helps with the crepiness of the eyes. It also helps with protecting the eye area. It has antioxidants and it also has that human condition media, but it also helps with lifting and firming the skin. Where I see the biggest difference with the Neogenesis Eye Serum is that it's really helped with the texture of my skin in the sense that I'm not experiencing that crepiness anymore. I love this and it's gonna stay in my routine for as long as I can afford it. <laughs> it's not that expensive. So Neogenesis products, where they're expensive is their serums, their moisturizers, the cleanser, their conductor gel, it's really not that um, pricey. All right, so after my Replenish Serum, I go in 
with the Emma Pell eye cream. So this I was on the fence about because it does contain caffeine. What caffeine does is it helps with dark circles and it helps with redness in the skin because it constricts the blood, the blood vessels to reduce that fluid pooling in that area and reduces the redness in the skin. And I get worried about that because, you know, when you're constricting blood flow, it means you're constricting nutrients to the skin. And I don't want to starve my skin of any nutrients. However, I have been using it for a couple weeks and I do like this serum, but it's just, it's for someone who needs more moisture around their eyes, you would have to put an eye cream on the top of this. And I'm using it with the Neogenesis eye serum. And this is like the perfect, um, duo for me because my eye area is prone to um milia so if i use anything that's too heavy and if i piled an eye cream on top of all those three there's a good chance that i would probably get milia and i want to avoid that at all costs and then i go in with the neogenesis i either go in with the intensive moisturizer or the light moisturizer so now that it's getting warmer I need a lighter moisturizer, but the weather here has been so funny. Like we're, I think in June gloom now, typically, you know, right now it should be like 90, 95, 98 degrees, but it's only been like in the seventies. Yesterday I got to 80. So my skin's kind of going back and forth on my daytime moisturizer. So today I went in with the intensive moisturizer, but on hot days, I like the light moisturizer. I love these moisturizers. They're so good. So intensive moisturizer and light moisturizer do have human conditioned media because it has Neogenesis patented ingredient, which is the S2RM, which is that stem cell molecule and growth factor. The uh, one that doesn't contain it is actually the Barrier Renewal Cream. And then I go in with my favorite sunscreen, which is the Is Clinical Eclipse. I love this. Um, this is my favorite sunscreen. I'm wearing it today. My makeup goes over it beautifully. It just is a great sunscreen for me. And um, I love it so much I purchased a backup. Now, for my evening routine, my first step Oh, and then I use the Glow Booster H, which I would go over with my devices, but it's here right now. I, I use this now in the morning and instead of the evening to penetrate the Osmosis Replenish Serum into my skin because that serum has a tendency to be a little bit sticky and they do recommend that you mist and massage it into the skin. So I'll use the Glow Booster H. I'll, after I apply the Osmosis um, replenish serum. I go in with the Neogenesis moisturizing mist and then I go over the serum with the Glow Booster H for about two minutes all over using it on my neck and on my face. I just do a quick treatment with it, nothing intensive. Morning and night I am using my Olaplex Lash Bond Lash Serum and my lashes are looking so much better. It's like my lashes are back. I love this stuff. It's so good. I'm going to buy another bottle of that because I'm almost out. So evening routine is a lot simpler as you're going to see here. I keep dropping stuff. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so I go in first with the Michelle Corley Calming Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. So I picked this up to test it out and because the pore cleansing oil is a little bit of a deeper cleanse and with the dryness that I was experiencing from the Emma Pell night cream, I wanted something that was a little bit more on the moisturizing effect with taking off my makeup. So I do like this one too. I, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So I love the Michelle Corley uh, cleansing oils. I love both of them. The pore cleansing oil is good if you are someone who gets a lot of blackheads, if you have sebaceous filaments, you get a lot of congestion, if you're oily, it's beautiful. I love it if you have larger pores. And this one is just as good for those of you who have sensitive skin. Now the pore cleansing oil doesn't have a fragrance to it and the ingredients are really, bit, really simple. The Calming Cleansing Oil has a little bit more ingredients in it, and it also has cucumber oil, there's plum seed extract, 
and there's Kukui seed oil. I really love this formula. And you do have a very light, fresh scent of cucumber. It doesn't smell synthetic. To me, it smells like I'm smelling a cucumber, which I love, and I haven't experienced any irritation from this. So this is another winner. I love these um, cleansing oils from her. You get four ounces and they're $28. Um, so they're pretty affordable and her products are actually in the affordable range and they're very, very good. I love Michelle Corley and you can pick them up at um, Art of Skincare, by the way. Then I go in again with my Neogenesis cleanser. Okay, and then from there, I use the Neogenesis Recovery. So Recovery is the creme de la creme. <laughs> I love Neogenesis Recovery. Now, I would love to use this morning and night, but which I may in the future and then, you know, see with adding booster to it what it does. But for right now, I'm just using it at night. I love Recovery. This is, like I said, the creme de la creme. I see why everybody loves it so much. It's just so healing on the skin. It's truly amazing. <laughs> so, and after that, I go in with my Neogenesis Eye Serum, my Emapel Eye Cream, then I put a light layer of the Emapel Night Cream. Now this is 1.7 ounces, so take into consideration, I know this is a hefty price tag, I know this skincare routine is like really expensive. And yes, I did purchase all of these products myself, by the way. None of these products were sent to me. So with the Emapel um, cream and the serum, it's 1.7 ounces and you're only using them once a day and you don't need that much. So the system will last you for a very long time. I, I want to say like maybe this will last you maybe three months or longer. I'll let you guys know. So with the Emma Pell cream, they do give you a little spatula and they're all in glass jars and they feel pretty hefty. So with this cream, I have been using it straight on my skin for two weeks. I haven't, I didn't need to do anything. Oh, you know what? Before I went in, before I go in with Emma Pell, I go in with the Osmosis Rescue. So this is an epidermal repair serum. This and the Neogenesis products, I believe the serums and the moisturizers are the reason why I haven't experienced any irritation from the Emma Pell night cream. Sometimes I will experience a little bit of tingling after I put it on. But that's it. I haven't gotten any um, like peeling, no irritation, no sensitivity. The only thing that I have experienced is that my skin feels a little bit drier than normal and I'm requiring a little bit more moisture. So what I have been doing to help with that is using Rescue. So Rescue helps restore and repair your barrier. Um, I love Rescue, so this not only helps with restoring and repairing your barrier, but it also helps with fine lines and wrinkles, skin laxity. It also has antioxidant protection and blue light protection in it. And I could go through and use this morning and night, but I wanted different antioxidants on my skin because antioxidants are not only good for protection, but they also feed the skin nutrients. And that's what I was shooting for because I'm getting a ton of antioxidants from my diet now, but I love to flood my skin with antioxidants as well. So this is what I use before I put on the Emma Pell um, night cream. Put on the Emma Pell night cream and I've been taking this morning and night and I've been using it straight for two weeks. What is it? I thought I've been two weeks, 14. I've been using it for what, 16, 17 days now? Straight, no no um, break in between, no irritation. Like I said, the only thing I've experienced is some dryness in my skin. And I've been trying to combat that with using the Neogenesis Barrier Renewal Cream. 
So the Barrier Renewal Cream has some really good lipids and there's some cholesterol in here. It does not contain the human condition media. There's like glycerin in here. It is so good for when your barrier is compromised. I love this for after the Dermadis treatment. I've been loving it on top of the MFL night cream. And what I do is I wait for the MFL night cream to penetrate my skin for a little bit. And then I follow up with the barrier um, renewal cream. And then I give my skin a mist of the moisturizing mist. And that is it for my skincare routine. So those are the products that I'm using. I'm absolutely loving them. Now this intro is a little bit longer than what I was planning to, to be. So for my skin with device wise, I'm going to switch to using the Derma Disc once a month now instead of every week or every two weeks because with using the retinol, it is exfoliating my skin, but I don't want to do anything that's too aggressive. And if I want to use the Dermadisc, I'm gonna have to stop using the Emapel night cream for two nights um, before and then two nights after. So this is gonna um, be switched to using once a month now. I am using my red LED light therapy um, five to six days a week doing my Jane Man Omna treatments like every day, practically doing deep fascial holds, which make a huge difference. And then also doing the surface release. Now, I know a lot of you wanted me to start testing the Ucera. Now, let me have a little chat with you. So I have thin skin and I have volume loss, which means my fat cells are depleting and so are my fat pads. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk about radio frequency now um, causing fat cell degeneration. Not, you know, people are saying, oh, well, it caused me to lose my um, fat pads. But what you guys don't know, some of you might, but we also have fat cells in our skin, which none of the studies out there that are done on these radio frequency devices, they're all done for marketing, most of them. And they don't talk about the fat cells that are actually in the skin. They only talk about fat pads, which are under the skin. And the radio frequency, the at-home devices only reach, you know, to the dermis. They say they don't go to that fat layer. So what I've been noticing with my skin since I've completely cut out radio frequency is that my skin actually looks plumper. And I'm, of course, I'm using Adipo. So but with radio frequency, I notice it tightens my skin, but it doesn't add to the plumpness of my skin. And I mean, it just, it, it does smooth out my fine lines and wrinkles, but where I notice the biggest difference in my skin device wise is using my microcurrent devices. And it really matters on the microcurrent devices that you use. Now I've worked really hard on my skin these last what, um, three months to help restore those fat cells and restore the plumpness to my skin. I don't want to do anything to my skin to disrupt that and take away from my hard work that I've been putting into my skin and my hard earned money from using Adipo. So I am not gonna go into testing the Medicube Ucera and I apologize for that. But you know, I'm not here to you know, necessarily like, you know, to review, review. I'm here to share knowledge and educate you guys and test and review, you know, certain things to give you my opinion. But the thing is, I'm not here to make money. This is not my full-time gig. So what's more important to me is my health and my skin, skin's health. And I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that as what I did in the past when I first started here on the YouTube is, you know, for like the first, what, uh, two years I was testing and reviewing all these products and it just, my skin looked terrible. And then I spent two years trying to restore it. And then, you know, I go into testing radio frequency again. And then my, I just started to notice like some things with my skin, like it's starting to get thinner, I'm starting to lose the fat pads. So I don't wanna go through that again. So I hope that you understand. Now with the Medicube Ucera, before I test that and to give you, 
to let you know if I actually will test it is I have to deep dive into that technology. So as of right now, I don't have any intention of going back to using a radio frequency um, as of right now. So with the Usera, it's high frequency and ultrasound. I got a deep dive into the research of that device to see exactly what it's going to do. Now, it says that it's supposed to tighten and plump the skin but I don't know what the long-term effects of that are. And like I said, I do not want to damage my skin. Now, my friend Darcy from the Brazilian Girl Channel, she is actually, she has been testing that device and she um, said in her recent live that she is going to be doing um, her video and she deep dived into the technology of it because on Medicube's website, they don't really tell you much about that technology. And as far as I know, there's no other device that is using high frequency and ultrasound together. So, you know, you could see where I'm a little bit skeptical because the Medicube devices, they are FDA registered, I believe, but I they're not FDA cleared. I believe that one's not FDA cleared, but they are FDA registered. So I had to do a little bit more research on that. So I hope that you understand, but what I will be using, um, is of course my Pico toner. So my plan is to use the Pico toner um, at least twice a week for detail work. Um, I like to use this about every 72 hours on my skin. And my favorite way to use the Pico toner is the Jane Man Lift. I love this. Favorite way to perform microcurrent. So I love the P2, uh, the Pico toner because that program P2 is absolutely amazing. Everything about this device is amazing. This is my absolute favorite microcurrent device. I see the biggest difference in my skin using the, the Pico toner. It's just truly amazing. It helps regenerate the cells. It helps build skin density back into the skin. It helps with lymphatic fluid or lymph, stagnant lymph in the skin, you can help, you can treat your fine lines and wrinkles, and you can lift and tone the skin, and you can use it on your body, which to me is great. And so I plan to use this two days a week on my face, and um, I want to start using it on my body too. I just have to figure out where I'm going to fit that in, because as of right now, my schedule is jam-packed. I get up super early and I'm doing the block therapy. And I love block therapy, but there's, there's classes that are 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 20 minutes, and over an hour, like 90 minutes. And of course I wanna do those ones that are over an hour because you hit more areas with those deep fascial holds releasing tension. I feel amazing by the way, and I suggest that everyone look into block therapy because it doesn't only help you with your body, but it's gonna help you with your overall appearance and make everything up here look better. So I was planning on switching to doing that in the evenings because I get so relaxed after I release all that tension, all that fascia that it really helps me sleep. So I'm probably gonna switch to doing block therapy as soon as I get home from work then I'll see what, where I'm going to fit my devices in. Now I have a treat for you guys um, today. Oh, this intro is so long. This is gonna be such a long video. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta wrap it up here. So I picked up the Zip Halo. It arrived on Friday. So I used it Saturday. And the programs I used were Lift, Plump, and Eyes. Made my skin look flawless. I got so many compliments on my skin, friends that I haven't seen for a while, new people, everyone kept complimenting on my skin. Now, I understand why they call this the halo. It gives your skin such a beautiful glow. So I used it today and I recorded those three treatments for you so you guys can see this in action. So as a first impression, I love the new Zip Halo. The lift program I can use on this. The lifting programs on the GX and the OHEX I could not use after they did the updates. Um, they used to have the sensitive energize program, which I could use. 
But after they updated and took that away, I can no longer use those lifting programs on the zip. I can only use the founder's favorite, the ones that work in the skin using nanocurrent. Those are the ones that I can use, eyes, plump. So as you can see, the Halo is a lot smaller than the GX. Now I do find that this one is easier to grip, but it still can slip out of your hand very easily, which you'll see in my demo. I love this. The globes are smaller. They put the power button right here, and when you turn it on, it automatically goes to lift. So you have this halo of a light that's around here, and when you touch it to the skin and it's conducting, this brightens up. Now, right out of the box, you can use the lift program with this and you free form with it. You just avoid your under eyes, but you can just go in and lift and you can repeat it. So I've used the lift now twice. I haven't had any issues. I can use it. I love plump. Plump is amazing. Look at my skin. My skin just looks so good. I use this today. Oh, I love it. So I plan on exploring the other programs with the zip. So I'm gonna be using this along with the Pico Toner. I wanna to test out the other programs for you and let you know if they're different or they're the same from the app. Also, how my skin fares with that because you know, like I can't use instant gratification on the OX. I can't use some of the other lifting programs like the gels. So I wanna compare it because I noticed that the plump program um, in the video was different. The eyes program for this is different than in the GX and the OX. And they have some other programs. So I'm gonna put a video here so you guys can see what the app looks like for the Halo. As you see, they have new treatments that they don't have for the GX and the OX. So I love it. Um, I have to say, this is my new favorite handheld microcurrent device. Now, I think that Zip did a beautiful job at redesigning this. It's very, very light. It's easy to travel with. They reduced the price. It is $349, and you do get a travel size of their um, conductive gel. Their new one, it's called the Electrical Complex Gel. This is a thinner consistency. It doesn't have skincare benefits like the other gels, and for 2.7 ounces, it's only $25. And if you purchase your gels through the Zip app, you get 10% uh, off. So as a first impression, the first time I used it, I didn't know if I liked it, but today I actually really like the gel. It is thinner and you have to use a bit more, but I like it. And I am really shocked that I love this as much as I do. I didn't think I was. Now, I know I didn't need this, but the thing is, is something told me to pick it up, so I did. Now, the one thing I wish that they would have done is made it so you can pause during a tre treatment because the video goes faster than, for the eyes, it went faster than this treatment, but I have to try the other treatments to where you have to really follow along with those three programs. You don't really have to follow along with the video. So I'll get back to you on that. But I wish that they would have added a control for the intensity. Because for me, like when you get up to a, you know, the intensity of three, it's too much. But I will test it out and let you know. But as a first impression, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I think they did a great job. And I love the new price point. Now, it doesn't come with a case. It comes with that 1.7 ounce of a gel and a charging cord and that and an instruction booklet. That's it. So I do find that it is different than my GX. I notice more results with this one than I did with this one. So there's something to say because there's others out there who've done a couple of videos. Well, one in particular, Darcy did an excellent live on this. I would highly recommend that you check it out. And Darcy actually has a discount code for Zip that will save you 10%. I, I used it and it saved me $34. I'll list it right here um, on the screen for you. I think it's Darcy Zip. But I notice a difference in my skin. I see more results with the Halo than I ever did with the GX. Now I've had this since 2016. Maybe it's old now I, and it's not working as good. Um, still charges fine, holds its charge and everything. 
but I love this new one. And let me test it a bit more. I'm gonna start using this, you know, picking this up for the next couple weeks, and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on whether I think this is going to be, you know, good for you if you should pick it up. But like I said, as a first impression, I love it. And I purchased it myself. It wasn't sent to me or anything like that. And I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Zip. So they renewed my faith in them. <laughs> they listened. Um, the only thing, like I said, I wish that it had intensity control. All right, everyone. So that is it for this video. I'm sending you all so much love and light. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I'm sorry it's so long. I should have broke it up, but hey, you can watch it in parts. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Right, oops, I lied. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> so you guys are gonna go into the demos of my skincare routine. The first demo is gonna be my evening skincare routine. Then you'll go into the demonstration of the Zip Halo and then you'll go into my morning routine and that will be it for this video. All right, I love you guys, bye. Aloha everyone and welcome to the demonstration of my nighttime skincare routine. So I have been trying to film this video all week and it just hasn't been working out for me. <sighs> Hopefully it will now. So I just got out of the shower First thing I did was I went in with my Michelle uh, Corley. This is the Calming Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. So I picked this up to try it out because this is for sensitive skin um, and my skin has been, just been feeling a little bit dry um, compared to what it used to with using the MFL as my skin is still getting used to it. So this is really nice. It's like a thicker um, oil. It has a cucumber scent to it though. The ingredients are still really good in this, but if you have dry skin or sensitive skin, definitely check this out. It's really, really good. Just as good as the pore cleansing oil. If you are someone who, you know, gets um, like sebaceous filaments, blackheads or congested skin, or you want like a deeper cleanse, that's where I would recommend the pore cleansing oil. I really like this one too. So both of these are a hit for me and are my favorite favorites for a first cleanse. Now, my second cleanse is the Neogenesis Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. I use this in the morning as well. And I also use it in the evening as a second cleanse. Hands down, my absolute favorite cleanser. It is a gel cleanser, but it's very gentle on the skin. It doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't make it feel dry or tight or anything like that. I love this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my first serum, which is the Neogenesis Recovery. Now it's been about a few minutes since I got out of the shower. So I'm sure that this is, my skin is going to suck this up. So I'm taking two pumps and I use the Neogenesis Recovery in the evening and I use the Booster Serum during the day. Now, I don't know if I will continue with that or switch from Booster, um, switch Booster out with Recovery, but so far I'm really loving the routine. So... I love this serum. This is like the best stem cell um, molecule growth factor serum. Neogenesis, love their products. The only product that I don't like from them that I've tried is their Erase the Day Makeup Remover. It's a liquid silicone um, solution. And um, it's just, yeah, it's not my jam. I'd rather use a cleansing oil. So next what I do is I go in with my Neogenesis Eye Serum. And I'm just gonna take a small amount of this. And I put this all the way around my eyes, all the way up to my lash line and on my lids. So, 
So today, I the only thing that I have done to my skin was my Adipo and of course my um, morning skincare routine, but I haven't done any devices today. I like to take Sundays off from devices if I've been good with them all week. Now, this week I've just done my Omna Monday through Saturday. Like in that part one video that I demonstrated, I have been doing that every single day except for today. And then um, yesterday I got my Zip Halo and I used it for the first time yesterday. I used a Lift Plump and Eyes and my skin looked absolutely flawless. I got so many compliments on my skin yesterday. Friends that I haven't seen for a while, they were giving me compliments left and right. People that I've never met before kept telling me my skin was so beautiful. So I was just like, I was floored at how good my skin looked after using that. It's so good. So next I'm going to go in with my Osmosis Rescue. I take one pump of Rescue and I apply this all over my skin. Now I believe that the Osmosis Rescue is the key to the reason why I'm not experiencing any sort of peeling or irritation to my skin with using the Emma Pell Night Cream. So I love this. Now you can use this morning and evening. So I haven't been using this in the morning. What I've been using in the morning um, with the Emma Pell Serum is the Osmosis Replenish, which you guys will see for my morning routine. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Emma Pell Eye Cream. So this is a morning and evening eye cream. So is the Neogenesis uh, Eye Serum. So this is like a light serum, more so versus an eye cream. So it's not really that moisturizing, which I don't mind because I don't do well with heavy eye creams around my eyes because they, um, I am prone to milia around my eyes. So, all right, so this is enough for me. Um, others might need to use an eye cream over this um, if you have a lot of dryness around your eyes. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give my skin a mist with the Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. And I'm just going to press this into my skin and then I will go in with my Olaplex Lash Bond Serum. So by the way, this isn't a breakout. I think this is from my sports bra. So Saturday and today, which is Sunday, I got this wild hair and decided that I wanted to run. So I ran three miles yesterday and today I ran three and a half miles. And can I just tell you, I am so sore. So by doing the block therapy, it has improved my fitness. It's not only giving me more energy, but I'm able to do things that I wasn't able to do before because I was in so much pain. And it's like my body was like almost frozen. So I haven't done P-Valve all week. I've just been doing block therapy, walking, and then I ran yesterday and today. That has been my exercises for the week and it's great. Um, block therapy takes a lot of time and I like to do it first thing in the morning because it's like totally relaxing. So if I have a stressful day, I'm able to handle it better. But I think I'm gonna have to switch to doing it at night because on Friday's class, it was supposed to be an hour long core class. I was going to do it yesterday, but I ran short on time, and I was going to do it today, but I ran short on time again. I may still do it later, or tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up first thing in the morning really, really early and probably do block therapy and then go for my walk outside. And then there's a Jane Man Lift With Me class tomorrow at 930 
So I wanna be able to do that. Okay, so I'm just taking a dollop of the Emma Pell cream and I first just like to press it into my skin and I've been taking this down to my neck and chest and I haven't had any issues. So, and I'm just going to rub this in down there. So you want to make sure when you're using that Emma Pell night cream that you are using a sunblock during the day because if you're not, your skin, you'll get a nasty burn. So they give you this cute little spatula to scoop it out. So I've been using it for two weeks now and I haven't like, I'm just starting to like sort of make a dent. This is gonna last a long time because you only use it at night. So we'll see how long it lasts. I'm just gonna take a little bit more and put it on my chest and right up in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of let this absorb for a few seconds and then I'm going to go in with the Neogenesis Barrier Repair Cream because this kind of like it feels like a really nice uh, cream on the skin but it also has those retinols in it so it can kind of make your skin feel a little bit dry and dehydrated and the Barrier Renewal Cream has some really great ingredients in it. It has some lipids and some cholesterol in it, and it like really helps with a compromised barrier. And with this routine that I've set up for my Emma Pell, I had, haven't had any issues with my barrier whatsoever. So it's working for me, and that's why I'm ready to share it with you guys. So I've been using Emma Pell now, the full line, for two weeks, and I just love what it's doing for my skin. Like I mentioned in my video that I feel that this was the missing link in my skin um, from my previous routine. And, you know, I love osmosis retinaldehyde serums, their vitamin A serums. I love Catalyst AC11. I love Rescue and I love Replenish. But using just those um, wasn't giving me what my skin needs. The Emma Pell you know, with that MEP, that proprietary ingredient that's it's patented, what it does is it works in your skin. So if you're noticing, you know, more horn, uh, more fine lines and wrinkles, dullness, skin laxity, that means that your skin is becoming um, estrogen deficient. So if you're like 45 and above, your perimenopausal, menopausal or postmenopause you'll be experiencing this. Now, if you're on hormone replacement therapy, you might not be experiencing this. And if you are on hormone replacement therapy and you wanna try Emma Pell, I would just pick up one product and try it. Maybe pick up the serum and see how that works out for you just to get that MEP in your skin and see if it makes a difference. You can even probably do the night cream. You just wouldn't want to be using any other forms of um, retinoids while you're using that cream. So you can test it out and see if it works for you. But so the MEP works in the skin. It does not go into the bloodstream whatsoever and there's no hormones involved. So it's pretty remarkable what this line does and I'm absolutely in love with it. Now, there's been quite a few of you who have reached out to me about Emma Pell, who are already using it and you've said that it's been a complete game changer for you and your skin. And I'm so happy to hear that because it has for mine too. So now that this is set on my skin for a little bit, we're gonna go in with the Neogenesis Barrier Repair Cream. And I'm going to take three pumps and I'm going to apply this all over my skin everywhere where I put that Emma Pell and my skin just soaks this up so so I have a little bit of a dilemma guys <laughs> so for my device routine like I definitely am going to be using the Pico toner I'm using the red LED light therapy my Omna and I've switched to using my Medicube Glow Booster H 
device to during the day because I'm using the Osmosis Replenish Serum during the day and I feel like that needs to be penetrated into the skin. It's kind of sticky. And when I use this to penetrate it into the skin with the Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist, it's so good, I love it. So this I'm now using during the day. Now, my dilemma is, as I wanna incorporate the zip into my skincare routine, I really was so impressed with that first treatment that I did with it that I wanna find a way to incorporate it in because all the treatments on there are so quick. They're either six, four, or two minutes long. And it's very doable. So like if I come into a situation to where I can't use the Pico toner because I just don't have enough time, but I still wanna get microcurrent in, the Zip is a great option. And what I love about the Zip along with the Pico toner is those are the two microcurrent devices that actually work in the skin and in the muscles. So Zip is microcurrent it's true microcurrent and it's nanocurrent and they work together and nanocurrent works in the skin to help with giving you that glow skin issues the plumpness um also it helps with skin density the pico toner has the p2 and the pico toner uses dynamic microcurrent which is patented technology so there's nano microcurrent and also pico current that are in the p the pico toner but p2 specifically is for lymphatic drainage skin density creating radiance in that skin, works in the connective tissue, like the fat, the, such as the fascia. It's also great for um, cell regeneration. And then you have P1, which is the lifting and toning program. And that's where you use to lift and tone your muscles and also work on the fine lines and wrinkles. So these two microcurrent devices are like really, really great. And the new Halo, I notice a difference versus the, the GX model. I see more results with the Halo versus my GX. Now I've had my GX since 2016. Maybe it's old now and maybe it's not as powerful. That could be the reason, but um, I just really love that device. <laughs> When I did that treatment yesterday, I like I said, it was different than using this one. I saw a bigger difference in my skin. So we'll see. Um, the other dilemma that I have is that I know some of you want me to incorporate the Medicube Ucera. So the Ucera you use um, twice a week, only for seven minutes. It's totally doable. My thing with this is I don't know much of the technology on that. Like the, it's high frequency and ultrasound. And I don't want to use anything that's going to cause fat cell degeneration. So I wanna deep dive into the technology of the Ucera before I use it on my skin. So I think probably for this next month, we're just going to stick with the zip the Pico Toner Red LED Light Therapy and the Omna because I really love the way my skin is looking right now and I don't want to use a device that may potentially take away from this. And I've worked so hard to get some of this plumpness restored back in my skin with Adipo and I've spent a lot of money on it that I just don't want to take away from those results. So Darcy, from the Brazilian Girl Channel. She's gonna be coming out with her Ucera video uh, here soon. And she deep dived into the technology of the Ucera. And I'm curious to see what she says with this, because like I said, there's no, I can't find any information on it besides what Medicube says. And it's not clear on their website. So <clears throat> I would think we'll wait to see what Darcy um, says in her video. And, you know, she just did a really good 
um, LED light video um, about, you know, preventing um, sun damage and, you know, helping to get rid of sun damage. So she brought up some really good facts and she, she totally killed it. She did amazing. Um, she pulled out some research that I've never heard anybody else pull out. I don't know where she got it from, but she did amazing. So that's where I'm standing right now with my devices. I know you guys want me to test that Usera so badly, but like I said, I also have to take my skin into consideration as you know, I'm at an age now that, you know, I have to be really careful with what I use on my skin. My skin is thin and it's prone to volume loss from heat, right? Because those who have more collagen in their skin, they have thicker skin. Like Darcy has thicker skin and she has a lot of collagen in her skin. So she's not prone to volume loss, such as, you know, fat pad loss, fat cell degeneration, because she has a lot more padding in her skin versus someone who has thinner skin like me. I don't have a lot of padding in there. And, you know, when you deplete those fat cells, it's really tough to get that volume back and it will make you look older and your skin will start to sag more. So I just want you guys to take that into consideration. If you do have thin skin and you're interested in radio frequency, you're interested in this Usera, I would use with caution. Um, like I said, I haven't used radio frequency since March and I don't know at this point if I'm ever going to go back to it because I honestly don't feel like I need radio frequency from what I have been doing. The Pico Toner, the Omna, the red LED light therapy, along with my skincare and the Adipo, I think that my skin looks so much better. I feel the volume coming back in my skin. I see it and I don't want to do anything that's going to put that at risk. And I hope that you understand and you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. All right. So that's the end of this demo. It, it's longer than what I thought it was going to be. So I apologize for that and I will see you soon. Yeah. Hello, hi everyone, and welcome to this bonus little demo of the Zip Halo. <laughs> okay, so this morning I was going to do the Jane Mann Lift With Me class, and it was at 9.30 this morning, and I just didn't have time to do it. I so far have done, um, I woke up this morning, I got up at 4, I did my... Um, Washed my skin. I did the part one of my morning skincare routine, which I have a whole video on. So cleanse my skin with the Mysama Green Rooibos uh, Gel Balm Cleanser. Did my Omna all over my face, my neck, and my chest. Then I removed that cleanser, went in with a Green Press Serum, Green Rooibos Press Serum. Ice rolled, then um, waited for about 30 minutes, performed block therapy, then I went in with my red LED light therapy. And then after I was done with LED light therapy, I went in with Adipo, took Misha for a walk. I went for a walk. I went grocery shopping. It's um, it's noon right now. <laughs> um, I roasted a chicken in the air fryer and I just made lunch. We just had lunch. We had roasted chicken and asparagus. And now I'm here. So I'm going to perform the zip treatment. So here is my skin. It looks really good. It's a little bit red, but you know, I just cleansed it and it's always red from cleansing because I'm touching my face. But I want you guys to look at my under eyes. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's gotten a lot brighter underneath here. And the skin um, density has come back. And I'm noticing it around in this area too. Like my skin just looks so plump and juicy. I just love it. And you know, Adipo is amazing. So with your Zip Halo device, you get a deluxe trial size of their new uh, conductive gel, which is called the Electric Complex. So it's 1.7 ounces. The full size is 2.7 ounces like their other conductive gels. 
This is $25, okay? So when you purchase your gels in the Zip app, you get an um, automatic 10% off discount. I will say that the silver gel is still my favorite. However, I'm testing this out. This gel seems to be a thinner consistency. So I'm gonna shake it up. I'll show you, look, see how runny it is? So they say to use 10 pumps. And I'm putting this all over my skin. Now, it's very simple ingredients. If you have sensitive skin, you would probably like this one. Um, there's no skincare benefits except for the glycerin that's in here compared to the other gels. So silver is still my favorite, but however, this is nice because it's an affordable price range. And with the zip, you're better off to use their conductive gels because they need that glycerin. If you use your own glycerin mixture, you just wanna make sure that you add some conductive properties to it, like a conductive mist or add some, you know, a pinch of um, Himalayan sea salt that has minerals in it. But this new gel is in the affordable price range, so which is nice. Okay, so now we're all gelled up. Let's go ahead and turn on the halo. So your power button is here now. So I'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna see the halo. There we go, it's on. So the first thing we're gonna do is lift and I'm gonna turn up the volume. Oops, so you guys can hear the app. I'm gonna let the app talk and I'm gonna screen record it and put the treatment on the side here so you guys can see. All right, let's go. So this program is four minutes long and the only place that you need to avoid is your under eye. So with this lift program, it's free handing and it doesn't match up with the video. You just do whatever movements you'd like to lift, avoiding the under eye area.
blocks that microcurrent in and maximizes your results, it's also going to give you long-term benefits. So you are going to start to create more collagen and elastin in your skin as time goes on. So tomorrow you'll see results, and the next day, and the next day. It's the gift that keeps on giving, and you don't have to think about it. The two are interwoven throughout the treatment so that you are getting a healthy dosage of both. Just make sure you know that you have enough. I use a nice firm pressure, but you don't want to be pushing too hard. And you don't need to. Okay, I got a really nice lift from that, guys. So, with this lift program, I can use it on the zip. The other lift programs from the GX and the OX, I could not use. They were too intense for me. I got a lot of muscle twitching that resulted in like jerking movements in my face. And afterwards, I would get a migraine. So here is my GX and here is the Halo. <clears throat> so these are what they look like. As you can tell that this one is bigger. With the Halo, the globes are a bit smaller than the GX and the OX. Now this one um, is heavier and it feels sturdy. This is lighter and it still feels sturdy, but not as heavy as this one. So now we're going what we're going to do is we're going to go into the eye program. <clears throat> I love the lifting program on this. It's really really good and I love that I can use it. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the eyes program now. So let me start the treatment and again I'm going to let the video do the talking. We're going to treat the eyes now. You need to have your conductive gel Here, That's and more gel. on your eyelids as well. So I'm going to set my globes down right here and I'm going to slowly pull until I feel the vibration. And then we're going to gently touch down and do this again. And gently touch I'm down. A little bit too slow. Now I like to pull my brow open. But if you want to shape more cat eye like that, you can pull out like that. So she said you can go like this. Or you can keep pulling up like this. Or you can keep pulling up. You can see it's already opening my eye, which is really my objective. But it's about what you're looking for. So if you want to pull this way, you can pull this way. I want more lift. Just use that vibration to remember to start a new stroke. I'm way beyond the vibration. I'm too slow. But I'll get used to it. To the other side. Gently touching down. And I'm ever so slightly pulling. You don't want to use much pressure at all. The current is doing the work for you. So she's already on the other side. As you guys can see, I'm still on this side. <laughs> And out towards the other eye, so I just I will up, up, up until I've she'll finish before I will. Okay, so now it's the other side. Oops.
as you can see, if you have problems with your hands where you have problems with the gripping, you will notice that the zip is tough to grip. I would say that this one is easier for me to grip than my GX. Gosh, I'm just too slow for this. <laughs> so the ice program is two minutes. And the lift program is four minutes. Now with the lift program, you can repeat after your first session. With the ice program, it doesn't say that you can repeat, but I wouldn't imagine that you would want to. And I have no muscle twitching or uncomfortableness with this one. And this is a different eyes program than the eyes program with the OX and the GX. Let's do a couple of cat eye movements. Now, I haven't tried this with the silver gel yet, and I will, but I really, actually this gel is kind of growing on me. I think you guys should try it, you know, definitely. Oh, uh, look at how much more open my eyes look. So much better, right? Okay, so now let's go into the plump program. I say plump, I wanted to do plump first and I should have done that because it would have really um you know supercharged my lip but I wasn't thinking it's okay to do it after <laughs> so let's go into plump it gets slippery make sure you have your conductive gel on wherever you want to plump or bring volume I have it on my whole face I'll show you a few different areas and the technique for those Go ahead and start. Now this is obviously an area where people really like to see volume increasing. And you can, you'll notice that you're feeling it vibrate pretty consistently. So if it's ever too tingly or too fluttery for you, you, you can just gently rock back and forth but you can stay in one area for quite some time and really bring that volume to the area. This is also really gonna brighten an area and fill in the Her face is longer than mine and she can fit this whole thing it's underneath her cheekbone. So this one you pretty much freehand with in all the areas so that you wanted to add additional plumping. The other side here. This is also a really nice area to, to bring volume to right under the lip. Some more volume to the cheekbone. And again, it's always really nice on the forehead to brighten and okay. to fill those little fine lines and just to bring volume to this area because it does thin out as we age. And as it's dehydrated, you're bringing that hydration back from the inside out. 
So with a plump program, you can just focus for two minutes on an area, like you can just focus two minutes on here. You can focus for two minutes around your lips or focus two minutes over here on your forehead, or you can just use it all over like I am. This is one of my favorite programs on the zip. You really notice the plumpness it brings back to your skin. Your skin will look really nice and plump for like two days. I highly recommend using this program before an event or using all three because that's what I did when I went to an event on Saturday. My skin was flawless. Oh my God, I got so many compliments on my skin. It was amazing. <laughs> and she said you can even just hold it in an area too. You don't have to move it back and forth. So it says this plumping facial will breathe life back into your skin. Stimulating microcurrent, smooth vibrations, restore fullness to your cheeks, mouth, eye area, or temples. Spend time focusing on areas that have hollowed over time and add plumpness. So we can use it underneath my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and do another round. Make sure you have your... So I'm just going to turn this down. So now I'm just going to come up underneath my eyes. So if you have that sunken hollowness underneath your eyes, you can focus it right underneath here and it will help plump the area right up. Look right here in your temples. And then if you have a lot of lines on your forehead, you can come up here and focus on your forehead. Right here in between your brows, the 11s. I like to focus it right here in this area where I have a lot of smile lines. So you can hold it here underneath your eye and move it slowly if you wanted to. Plump up those lip lines. When you're gliding your zip down underneath your eye area, do not put any pressure. You just want to use this lightly under the eyes, especially with plump, because we're not doing any sort of moving out fluid or doing any lifting or toning. What we're just doing is we're creating blood flow to the skin to create that nice plumpness. And here we go. Almost finished.
you can already see a difference in my skin how nice it looks with this it's just like instant results guys it's amazing i found a new love for zip again <laughs> I really love it. I notice a bigger difference with the new Halo versus my GX. So if you're interested in the zip, I definitely would recommend checking it out. Look at how good my skin looks. It looks so good. So, so good. Ah! <clears throat> All right, guys. So I'm going to go jump in the shower, and then I will be back for my daytime skincare. Mwah. Hi everyone, and welcome to my morning skincare routine. So this is gonna be a long video already, so I'm just gonna get right into it. But first, look at my skin. So I just jumped out of the shower and my skin looks so good from that zip treatment. You see this glow that I have? I totally understand why they call it the halo. Like your skin just emits this radiance. It's so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the P2 program on the Pico Toner. So let's get into it. So I, the very first serum I start out with is the Neogenesis Booster. Now I use this to add plumpness into my skin. So I'm taking two pumps. This is great for um, extra hydration. It's great for adding plumpness and um, protection to the skin. It's also really good for those of you who have rosacea and eczema. So you can use this on its own or you can use it to boost your skin serum or recovery serum. So I would have to say that booster and recovery are my favorites to add into my skincare routine. And skin serum is definitely a favorite to use with microcurrent for my skin. Um, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Neogenesis Eye Serum. And I'm going to apply this all the way around my eyes. Now, I've already done my um, part one of my skincare routine. So yeah, so this you apply all the way around your eyes, on top of your eyelids, all the way down to your lash line. This has really helped with the texture around my eyes, the creepiness that I was experiencing. I just really love Neogenesis products. Now they're eye serum, they're cleanser, they're moisturizing mist and their moisturizers are fairly reasonable. Where it's pricey is their serums. So um, what I cleansed my skin with, um, what is my uh, morning cleanser, is the Neogenesis Cleanser. So I use that in the morning um, to cleanse my skin after I perform my uh, morning skincare part one. And I use it in the evening as my second cleanse. Now I'm following up with my, ne uh, not Neogenesis, but my Olaplex Lash Bond Serum. My lashes are getting longer. I'm getting to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna have to get another one. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna do another round of this and then I think I'm gonna try the Neogenesis Lash. Okay, now that that's on my skin, I'm going to go in with the Emma Pell Serum and I'm going to take a pump and a half because I take this all the way down to my neck and my chest as well. So the Emma Pell Serum does have antioxidants in it. It has 2% vitamin C, 8% niacinamide. It also has superoxide dismutase and glutathione. So most would say that the 2% vitamin C isn't enough for you, but I say try it and see how you like it. Um, you can add in another vitamin C serum if you'd like. For me personally, I did not because I don't do well with vitamin C. Um, this one I have no issues with. So I wanted more antioxidant protection, so I went in with the Replenish from Osmosis. Now you can use Replenish or you can use Rescue. So I'm gonna take one pump of re uh, Replenish 
And I'm going to put this all over my skin. I avoid my eye area because this serum does have a tendency to be a little bit sticky. So what I'm gonna do next is, I really love the Glow Booster H from Medicube for product penetration. And this osmosis serum, I feel, needs to be penetrated into the skin like Catalyst AC11 and their retinaldehyde serums. Um, so I'm using Replenish during the day, so I'm gonna use the Glow Booster during the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mist my skin, give my skin a hefty misting of the Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. Then I'm going in with the Medicube Glow Booster H. And I'm gonna go on level three. And I'm just going to quickly work that Osmosis Replenish Serum into my skin. So I'm only gonna do this for about two minutes. I need more mist already. I didn't spray enough on my face. I concentrated it more down here. So I'm just going to work this into my skin just like this for about two minutes. I'm not going to do the full five minutes. I feel like I don't need to. So this doesn't have a place in my evening routine right now because the serums that I'm using don't need to be penetrated into the skin. I mean, I can if I wanted to, but I would rather um, penetrate the replenish into the skin because it's sticky compared to a rescue. And I can't use it over my moisturizer in the evening because it has retinol in it. It's an Emapel moisturizer or cream has... Two forms of retinol in it. Oh, my skin is really soaking up this mist today. So I just take this a little bit down on the sides of my neck. I don't use this over my thyroid. It says to avoid your thyroid. Two minutes passed. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to turn it off. Now you can use that for a minute. You can use it for two minutes. You can use it for five minutes. Don't go over five minutes. And I don't use it on my chest and I only use it on the sides of my neck up to like right here underneath my chin and I avoid this whole area with that. It does, I do feel some stimulation because when you don't have any like slip to the skin and you go over an area, it feels prickly um, on level three, so. If you're feeling that pricky, prickliness with the Glow Booster H, you either need to add more mist to your skin or the level is too high for you. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I go in with the, oops. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in with the Emma Pell eye cream. So this is just a really light eye cream. To me, it feels more like a serum more than anything. It doesn't really feel like a cream. So I had to switch to the Emma Pell eye cream because the Botnia eye cream was causing a lot of stinging and burning around my eyes with the Emma Pell. I'm not sure what it is. It could be the rose um, hydrosol in it. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I didn't have any issues with the restorative face cream, but the eye cream started just like kind of stinging and tingling around my eyes. And I kind of like, I really liked how that hydrated my eye area. I think it's really, really nice, but I wish that they would take out that rose scent. So I go in between intensive moisturizer 
and light moisturizer. Today I'm gonna use Intensive Moisturizer from Neogenesis because my skin is a little bit drier than normal today. So, and this Intensive Moisturizer also makes a really nice neck and chest cream too. Now, since I did a healthy dosing of the moisturizing mist, I am not going to mist the intensive moisturizer. If I had the light moisturizer on, I would probably mist it. So um, I like the light moisturizer for those warm, hot summer days because on those warm, hot summer days, I do have a tendency to get oily in my T-zone. And that really helps. My husband has actually taken my light moisturizer. <laughs> so he's using that now. He's like going to be switching over to Neogenesis. He really, really likes it. Okay, okay. The baby wants a treat. Hi, the baby. Hi, the baby. Oops, there you go, my baby. Okay, so final step is my SPF. So my favorite SPF is the Is Clinical Eclipse SPF 50 in beige. So here it is. So this is a really thick, at first when it goes on, it feels really, really thick on the skin. And I have to be careful with this when I apply it because I can get it into my eyebrows and it's really tough to do your eyebrows with the sunscreen in. But I really like um, the sunscreen for my skin. It is a mineral sunscreen. See, look, I just got it in my eyebrow. But what I like about it for it being a mineral sunscreen is it just doesn't cause any irritation, inflammation in my skin that um, mineral sunscreens cause, like it's the zinc and it doesn't feel like it's sucking the life out of my skin. So with this sunscreen, it is, you know, it does sort of leave a white cast on my skin and it'll go down even though it is a beige tint. It's sort of like for fair skin and I'm on the medium skin, but however, I don't mind because once it blends into the skin after it's been on for a little bit, you can't really see it. And then I wear my rose ink tinted, um, skin enhanced tinted luminous serum over the top of this. So I'm gonna go in with my other pump. So one full pump is like one finger, two pump, and two pumps worth is like two fingers. So, and then I just put this on my chest everywhere where the sun is going to be hitting my skin. So what I like to do is I'll let this absorb into my skin for about five minutes before I apply my makeup. And, and then um, while it's absorbing into my skin, I usually uh, apply my body care. So it says that this is a matte finish, but as you can see, my skin looks really luminous and it's the luminosity does go down, but it's still, it's not a matte finish, it is luminous. So, so I really like this for my skin. I took it with me in Hawaii when I um, went in January and I didn't get burned or anything being in that, you know, Hawaiian sun when it was out. Um, but I just really like it for my skin. It just it doesn't give me any, any issues. So, you know, that's why I haven't really ventured out to try others um, because this one works for me. Um, I have tried the Osmosis Protect and that one didn't work out for me. I still use it sometimes, just once in a while, but it's really thick and heavy. It's a, it has Shea Butter in it. But it also has essential oils in it, and sometimes it causes my skin to like burn and itch, and it has a high percentage of zinc in it as well. So with this is clinical, what else I like about it is it's $48 for 3.5 ounces, which most SPFs are only one ounce and they're like 70 plus dollars, which I don't understand. <laughs> 
to be honest with you like i can't understand why it's so expensive and i mean it's a product that everyone needs so there you go all right so this is my morning skincare routine i hope that you found that all these demos were very helpful for you and yeah thank you so much i'll see you in a bit hey, now. Take a step outside and seize the day